have a cocktail here. Uh, who's making it, Ivy or Guillaume? Just kidding. Um, so if you guys, <laughs> I'm, drinking home, I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it. Pass it off to Ivy. <laughs> He's drinking it. Here's the spec for the Brooklyn Borough. I'll hand it off to Ivy now to uh, break this down for us. Sure. So this cocktail, I mean, you guys can, um, I guess it's gone, but I'll walk you through it. So this is essentially a um, mule recipe. You know, when we first opened Leyenda, um, we were looking around and we're like, all right, you know, we kind of had different types of categories that we wanted to hit and we didn't really have um, a mule. Um, mules are great for a few different reasons. Uh, usually they are not that expensive to put on your menu. Um, so that's a good, <laughs> um, also they're delicious and you, you know, you have ginger on your menu and ginger can be polarizing. People either love it or hate it, but people who go to cocktail bars love flavors. So they tend to love it. Um, so this drink is a little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice, half an ounce, half an ounce of pineapple juice. We happen to do our pineapple juice with uh, our, our pineapple juice fresh squeeze, but if you use canned, I get it, it's fine. Um, half an ounce of ginger syrup. The ginger syrup we do by extracting ginger through a juice extractor and then on a stove doing two parts sugar to one part water, bring it to a simmer to melt the um, sugar and then you're good. Yeah, dash, big dash <laughs> of Angostura and two ounces of the Plantation Three Star. Um, this rum, I think, is perfect for this drink. A little bit spicy, had a little bit of flavor to, com to combat the ginger and the bitters. And it's really delicious. Also, many puns in one drink. Brooklyn burro, burro means, uh, means mule or donkey in Spanish. That's what this drink is. Burro, we're in the borough of Brooklyn. Haha. -ha. <laughs> see what you did there. I'm a nice. <laughs> We literally have so many puns in the menu here at Landa that I have to limit the staff to three puns per menu for a drink. I'm like, just three. Gotta have fun with it. Gotta have fun with it. Um, and some ice. Shake it up. I feel like I should cheer. I know, right? I actually wasn't even gonna drink this because I'm gonna go, I've been, I picked up tennis in COVID, that's my COVID uh, <laughs> activity is tennis. I'm taking a lesson after this, but this drink is mostly just too good not to drink, so I'm gonna drink it anyway. There you go. <laughs> um, and I while, while you're doing that, there's a question here. What's your favorite cocktail to drink at home? Well, um, it depends. Um, I'm kind of lazy. So I don't usually like You're not alone. a lot at home. And if I do juice, I just kind of do like a juice blunt, like a little um, I drink a lot of Negronis at home. I drink a lot of um, a Caipirinhas and they, any sort of muddled citrus drink. I drink a lot of at home because all I need is like, I don't have to make simple syrup. I just like put, throw some sugar in, muddle a lime, put some booze in and drink it. Um, those tend to be my go-tos because especially my favorite thing to do is drink like a caparina or like a tea punch or whatever um, made like in an old jam jar or ball jar. So I was like, sugar, lime, muddle it up, booze, ice, shake the crap out of it, open up the jar. Do you want to put some soda water on done. top? Yeah. If you can't, but then it's just like easy peasy. Um, let's get it done. <laughs> right on. Still good. I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the spec back up. If you guys want to post it, that's always appreciated. Hashtag Tiki by the C at Tiki by the CNJ. All right. Oh, what I want to say before we go on. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, for the virtual tip jar thing that people are doing, um, if you want to do it, no pressure. But I just want to put it out there that I'm actually going to donate uh, fifty percent of it to the Legal Aid Society's Immigration Law Unit. Um, Im the Legal Aid Society helps everyone all over the country, but they're really heavy in New York, and I've worked a lot with them, and they've helped people on my staff and others. Um, it's a um, yeah, just a really cool organization. Or if you feel like donating to them directly, by all means, go ahead. But um, immigration problems haven't stopped just because COVID's here, and things are actually a lot worse. So if you have the time. Um, yeah, that's great. You're, the Venmo's here. 
-hmm. Ivy Dash Mix, and yeah. it's also in the Crowdcast. The link is up there. So donating to a good cause, always appreciated. This is how you stay in touch with Ivy. Uh, we're gonna move on to a quick module. Five questions with the Tiki fam. We'll be right back to you guys. Thank you so much. Really awesome stuff. <laughs>